Attention now to Washington. This is the last week. Unemployed Americans will be eligible for the extra $600 a week from the federal government. Yeah, the coronavirus relief bonus payments expire at the end of this month, but there are negotiations underway on another stimulus bill. Those negotiations expected to begin later today. Alexandra Leslie joining us now to explain what we know so far. Alex? Well, Danielle, there have been many proposals floating around. As we know, the initial stimulus package included stimulus checks. Most Americans got at minimum $1,200 from the federal government. And it's possible that this scenario happens again, although a larger amount is not off the table, according to the president. But it's also possible that should more checks go out, that not everyone who got one before will be eligible. House Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has suggested checks targeting those who make less than $40,000 a year. The $600 a week bonus bonus could also be changed. Republicans have argued the payment is too generous and have suggested either a return to work bonus or lower unemployment payments. Now, as of last week, nearly 300,000 jobless claims have been filed in Rhode Island so far. This is out of 1.3 million nationwide. Now, with no bill yet on the table, the House might delay or skip its next recess on August 7th. This is about needing the needs of the American people at the time of a pandemic that has lost about 40 million jobs. We know we can't shut the economy down again. That cannot happen. We've learned there are consequences from being cooped up at home. Now, even if negotiations do begin today and a deal is reached before August 7th, it's possible that checks may not go out until the end of August. At that point, it's up to the U.S. Treasury to distribute any money. Live from Pawtucket, Alexander Leslie, Eyewitness News.